Another great way to get some overhead pressing in when you have shoulder pain is to use kind of a landmine press or landmine setup, which if you've never seen before, it kind of has a, it has a base where the bar goes into it and the bar can move in kind of different positions. Um, I have mine kind of set up in a couple of plates on the floor, but what it does is it, for somebody that has difficulty getting into this position, you can landmine press because again, if you look at the motion here, it keeps me out in front of the shoulder. But because of the way the bar is situated and sort of the angle and the resistance, you're still getting that overhead pressing motion. And I can walk in further to get more and more motion, right? But I can find a comfortable spot where maybe straight overhead pressing is painful, but I can find a sweet spot with the landmine to get in and work on some pressing while I address other mobility issues or things like that. So. The landmine press is great uh, as, a, as a way, as a great, it's a great exercise, but especially when you're dealing with shoulder pain and trying to find a nice pain-free pressing pattern, this thing can be fantastic for that. And again, what you can um, set this up a couple of different ways. Sometimes, you know, many, many years ago, you could put the bar kind of in the corner against something and just, you know, do it that way. Um, some, uh, you can buy a big kind of um, actual base that has a thing in it. Mine is a separate little piece that drops into a couple plates. You put the bar in, and then you can do all kinds of landmine exercises. And then mine's portable. That can go, it goes wherever I need it to go, um, as opposed to having it being attached to say a squat rack or something like that. So landmine presses are a great alternative if you struggle to get the arm straight overhead, but want to be able to do some overhead pressing pain-free.